Well, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. I'm really excited to share this video with you because this is the story of my Hallucination 100. Uh, the one and only 100 miler I finished in 2019. As you guys know, leading up to this, there wasn't many running videos on this channel and that's because I was injured. I was injured pretty bad. It happened at the Mohican 100 around mile 82. It was a downpour, I'd been running all night and slipped on some grass. My ankle rolled up underneath me and I fell down on top of it. At the time, I thought it was just a sprain and it definitely was but I also tore some cartilage. And I told the long-winded story in another video earlier. I'll link to that down below. But long story short, over 12 weeks before the Hallucination 100, I pretty much did almost no running. And this was really hard for me. During that time, I went through a lot of depression, anxiety, lack of motivation, uh, confusion, you name it, I experienced it. It wasn't until I was approved to get the MRI that I started to feel like I understood a little bit more about what was going on and why recovery was taking so long. So two weeks before the Hallucination 100, my doctor, who's an ankle specialist, cleared me to run. And in typical ultra runner fashion, I asked if it would be okay if I ran 100 miles in two weeks. <laughs> uh, after his shock wore off, he explained to me that it was actually okay for me to run that much. Uh, given I was running on like a flat surface or going uphill, the location of the tear was kind of uncommon. He said it was located in the back of the ankle. So running f on flat surfaces and uphill was okay, but running downhill, uh, the impact was gonna be right where the injury was. Uh, so he limited me to walking the downhills, which was an interesting uh, way to go about running trails. But for the Hallucination 100, since it's a mostly flat with rolling hills 100, uh, the danger was actually pretty limited. So I left the doctor's office like on top of the world. Uh, I could run again and I was gonna try to get myself ready for this race in two weeks uh, after not running for almost three months. I came from the mud, dirt on my hands. This weekend is the Hallucination 100 up in Michigan at the Woodstock Running Festival. So I'm just gonna go to it. My good friends John and Matt are gonna run it and I'll probably see a bunch of other people I know there. So it's gonna be a fun time. It's a looped course, 16 and a half miles per loop. It's like a music festival every time you come back. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and give it a shot, see what happens. Stick as close to like the 30 hour pace as I can. The cutoff is 30 hours. Basically focus on running efficiently, walking efficiently, putting in as little effort as I need to throughout the race. So yeah, I'm just gonna go try it. <laughs> Can you run 100 miles in two weeks of training? Um, we're here at the campground to check in. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this the main aid station right here? Or is it up there? Oh yeah, it looks like places where you can sit and stuff. If I remember right, they broke Been in line for over 20 minutes already. There's like one person checking people in for the 100 miler. Yep. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cool. Awesome, thank you so much. So we have to wear that bracelet. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go get some food. So this race was a bit different. The start time was 4 p.m. on a Friday night. Uh, so right here, we had just left check-in at around noon or so. We went to grab a bite to eat, and then we went back to the hotel to just chill, and I actually like laid down for a little bit, didn't fall asleep, but just kind of rested. I stayed horizontal, and then around two o'clock or so, started getting ready for the race. Got my race kit on, got all my gear, and started taping up my feet because my feet were not ready to take the beating of 100 miles. One of the toes, I actually got the tape a little too tight, and it messed up my toenail pretty bad. All right, we're out of here. 
on our way. Hallucination 100. Oh my gosh. Everything's ready. Good to go. I just gotta get out there and run. But, man, I'm really nervous. Just a lot of doubt and worry right now. But, just trying to fight through that. <clears throat> this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be really, really tough. I am going to give it everything I have, though. This is it. This is my redemption. This is coming back and putting a stamp on this injury, saying that it's behind me. This summer that's been just really rough, putting it behind me with this race right here. some dynamic warm-up, some stretches, calf raises and lowering, uh, just trying to loosen up the hip. Got the band ready to go, play Star Spangled Banner up here. They're moving everybody to the other side of the arch. Getting out of here and going to the back because there's no way I need to be out front for this thing. So, 
almost six miles in, hour and 15 minutes. I'm doing just fine. Achilles is a little sensitive, but feeling good. We've got my feet all taped up. I've got tape on my Achilles. I've got these compression socks on. Compression sleeves. They're not, they don't cover my foot. Gators. I'm wearing my Ultra Olympus. So far, not a very crazy course. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty manageable. So far, a few hills here and there, but just rollers. I've linked up with Matt again. You'll probably see him right there. And John's like way ahead. You know, easy trails, runnable trails. They're putting gnomes out on the trail. They're very, very well managed. <laughs> I don't need bacon. Coming up to Richie's Haven, halfway point on the loop. Early in the morning. Yes. Say water. Water. <laughs> How you doing? Pringles. Gotta keep focusing on eating real food all day and all night. Just about to hit 10 miles. Two hours and 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, man. 13 miles, aid station right here. I'll take some water from you. Thank you. Yeah. We've been to this aid station before. Ready? We've got a bunch of grapes, some Pringles. Trying to eat a lot at these aid stations. Gotta keep my stomach working. So one thing I did mention at the beginning of the video but wanted to jump in here and talk about it a little bit more was the nature of this course. The Hallucination 100 is centered around a campground and at the campground they have a music festival. The loop is kind of like a figure eight uh, and it's 16.67 miles long so you have to do it six times. Uh, there's only two aid stations well, three if you count the start-finish line, but out on the course there was only two aid stations, one kind of in the middle of the figure eight and one at the end. The one in the middle we hit, like what, 12 times? So logistically, the race is set up really well for someone who's a beginner, maybe it's your first 100. All right, coming up on 16 miles, three hours and 44 minutes. I don't know how much more filming I'm gonna be able to do tonight because it's getting pretty dark already, but... It's uh, 7.45 p.m. Sun's supposed to set at 8.04. So, just about that time. It's like uh, Mohican right there. <laughs> so, we are finishing up this lap. What the heck? I can't see where I'm going, but that's Great okay. Job, John, we're gonna hit this lap in under four hours, which is awesome. Uh, both of us are feeling really good. If we can get a couple 
a couple laps in at four hours will bank a lot of time for the end. Good job. There is some chafing going on in between two of my toes. Grab an extra battery for my headlamp that I'm gonna start using as soon as we leave, start finish, and then just get food, as much food as I can eat. So far, this course is like nothing. If I was feeling better, not injured, in shape, I'd be totally, totally hitting this so hard, like going as hard as I could. Finishing loop one, four hours and one minute. Nice job. Oh, this is pretty cool. All the people passing me right now are running the 5K, so don't judge me. All right, this is so cool right here. Check out the stage. Woo. Hey, how's it going? Um, Good job. Hey. Yeah, could I get some water? Alright, so I spent 17 minutes in there, which is not the plan. Not the plan at all. This is awesome. This is so cool. I'm gonna try and find Matt. Hey! We got Eating some grapes. I'm gonna head out of here. Thank you. No, Guillaume, he wants water. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You've been shot down many times, but you keep standing, and I like that. <laughs> what do you need, buddy? I'm just looking. Okay, just shit window shopping? Yeah. Hey, just finished up lap two. Eating some ramen. And my stomach feels like crap right now. Nine hours and ten minutes into this thing. Well, this has been great. <laughs> I'm at 43 and a half miles, 12 hours, and I just puked up everything I had in my stomach. <sighs> yep, I feel a little bit better now though. So maybe I can, oh, maybe I can get going. I don't know, that sucked. <laughs> All right back after lap three. Here's the finish line. During that whole lap, I ate almost nothing. I need to eat a lot here. Okay, so now in the race, the wheels are starting to fall off. My nutrition plan is not working. My stomach is upset. I'm puking up everything. All I can hold down is some water and some Gatorade. And I can't even drink that much of either. So I'm thinking I'm in trouble because this is exactly what happened to me at Kettle. And if you watch that video, you know that I had to drop down to the 100K because I didn't get any nutrition in after the first like 20 miles. My stomach just shut down and started rejecting everything. I made it to about 40 miles here and just throwing everything up, couldn't eat anything, couldn't eat cookies, couldn't eat chips, couldn't eat Twizzlers, couldn't eat 
gels. All I could do was drink water, and then every once in a while I could sip on some Gatorade and hold that down. So we're having a rough time right now. Fourth lap? Yeah, fourth lap. And we're coming up to an aid station. And I was hurting through the night, falling asleep like crazy. But awake now. I mean, it's like slow. I didn't really. Uh... And we're out. <sighs> Hurting. Hurting bad. So I just hit 61 miles. 17 hours and 16 minutes. Got a big, huge blister on the bottom of the my right foot in the middle of the pad and it is hurting bad it's really hard to think about how much longer i have left so i'm just breaking it down from aid station to aid station right now this is the same type of blister that i got at run rabbit run at mile 90 Good job. And it felt like my foot was splitting open. I can't believe I made it 65 miles. Good job. Well, on two weeks of training, not even, can't even call it training, just went for a few runs over the last two weeks and then didn't do anything for. 10 weeks before that. Okay, we're coming into finish lap four right now and we are cutting it close. There's some extra miles on this course and all of our math is like thrown off. So there's like almost four extra miles which at a pace of like 16 minutes, it's like over an hour. So we are cutting it real close. We gotta get in and out of here. Fifteen minutes to spare. What I thought think? were just minor irritations on my heel are two blisters. Uh huh. I popped them and stuck tape over them, but yeah. Hopefully the ibuprofen does something. Yeah, I just took two Tylenol. Just hit seventy miles. Nineteen hours and fifty-four minutes. I haven't been doing a very good job of uh, documenting because we've been trying to get through this course. Uh, I think we're gonna do it. So 
98 right now. 2.05 p.m. Pretty much like crap. I've just accepted the pain <laughs> at this point here. Yeah, knee, ankle, foot, oh, everything. Right. Oh, one side? Yeah. Well, no, both sides. Oh, it is? Yeah. Here we go, just hit 80 miles. This is hard. <laughs> We're good on the cutoff as long as we keep moving at the pace we're at shouldn't be a problem unless we start having problems sun came out heated everything up struggling <sighs> 85 miles i'm falling asleep like crazy I can barely stay awake. The only way I can stay awake is if I'm running. And then my heart rate's too high. So, it's not cool. failing from here. No failing from here. <sighs> Coming in the second to last aid station of this race. About nine miles to the finish. Oh. Two hours and 15 minutes to do it. Hi. You guys are still here. Yeah. Oh. Do you have a chair? Nice. Oh. Okay. See you guys right. later. All right. Good job. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Out of here, 4.5 miles to the end. Holy crap. Just hit 100 miles. Yes. All right, we got less than a mile to go. <laughs> you got it, man. Woo! Yeah. We should race. <laughs> no. We'll finish together. Back. Right, here. Yeah. How you feel? Good. Awesome.
that's it thank you so much for watching this video this uh, hallucination 100 was awesome it was so fun running with my friend matt the whole time uh, i knew a bunch of people there and i'm just so thankful that i was able to finish a 100 mile race in 2019 after so many setbacks with getting injured and not running for three months and having gut problems at all my races i'm just so excited that i was able to finish i'm so proud of what i was able to do at the hallucination 100 big thanks to matt for just uh, sticking with me the whole time and we ran that whole race together ba almost every step of the way. Congrats to John for finishing the Midwest Super Slam and getting selected for Western States after five years of trying. Uh, can't wait to head out there with you man. Here's the buckle. I know you guys have probably been waiting to see it. I think it's a pretty sweet buckle. Uh, I've actually worn it a couple times. So I'm just really happy. Thank you guys so much for following along, sticking with me this year. You know, while I'm out doing these runs and races, I know people are gonna watch these videos and I just really hope that people can get inspired uh, to do something big, do something great, do something that scares them. Fear lies in inaction. So if you act, if you go do something, if you go sign up for a race, if you go run today, Fear goes away. And I just wanna communicate that to you because that is something that I truly believe. Go out there and do something big. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you have going on. Do you have any big race goals for this coming year? I have some pretty big ones and I can't wait to share it with you. There's so much going on and I'm just so excited to be able to be on this journey with you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.